No, you, you're a D3 guy. We were just talking about it off camera, being surrounded in this camp about, you know, with all these D1 national champions, Olympic champions. How does that make you feel, you know, you're a two-time uh, D3 champion, but being around, you know, some elite company here, what, how does that make you feel and the knowledge that you're learning here in this camp? It's honestly surreal, just being able to be surrounded by, you know, such like-minded people and people that are chasing the same goal as me. Uh, for example, I got, you know, Jordan Burroughs, James Green making the team, you know, chasing another world title and just being around by so many other world champions is just amazing to me and you know I haven't accomplished that yet but ultimately that's my goal so being able to just gain so much knowledge from these people is just a dream come true. You know being on this U23 team and going into the Pan Ams like how, what experience did you learn uh, during that tournament to help you prepare for obviously the big world championships coming up at the end of the month? Uh, U23s and Pan Ams really just allowed me to know that I am ready you know for worlds and I'm ready for the next step, you know, being around, you know, like I am a D3, D3 wrestler, but I can compete with the highest level. I'm prepared. So it really just gave me another sense of confidence, you know, ready for this championship. And, you know, being a D3 wrestler, does that give inspiration to other athletes, you know, you succeeding at this level and knowing that, hey, if he can do it, I can do it also? Absolutely. I mean, I started off at community college and... And now I'm at Division Three, and I never thought that I would be where I am today. So, just people that may think, you know, that it's only limited for Division One wrestlers, I just I could be your living proof that you know I can make it. You can make it a reality, just like I did. You know, talk about kind of that transition um, in training that you've been going for the World Championships. I know you were going to go to Wisconsin, but now you're heading back to Wartburg um, to finish up your career. Talk about that decision and how training's going. Right. Uh, I was a I was able to train at Wisconsin and be surrounded by a lot of great individuals. Um, I just had time to reflect with myself and just had to do what was best for me. And what was best for me was being back, you know, at Warburg College with Eric Keller, Kittleson, and CT. Uh, those coaches have got me where I am today. You know, it really helped me gain confidence and ultimately, you know, be able to wrestle in Albania here in a couple of weeks. Finally, when you step on the mat in Albania, what do we expect from you? Uh, I mean, I've been reflecting, journaling, and just, you know, talking to God. And I just really, I really expect pure domination. Um, I, I know I'm prepared for this level. I've prepared so many times this summer. I was able to train with Chance Marsteller. This is my second Olympic training center camp this summer. So I just know, like, I'm prepared, and I'm going to go out there and dominate.